which seems <clears throat> makes a person no value for him. We are valuable. Sons of Adam, all of them is valuable. Too much valuable. Everyone is more valuable from whole universe, no including man. But something making us uh, no value. What is that? We must know it. Now, I am translating from our headquarters, from main central, spiritual central, Ugranshe. We must know this so that we may live it. There is something makes us more valuable. But some others making us to be no value. Uh, which makes us to be no value for us, taking away from value, Anyone who no respecting others he is losing his value. Who harming others losing his value. By you are speaking or by your hand. If you are harming anyone, even one, he is going to lose his value. Shaitan. He was uh, Worshipper. No one worshipping like him in his time. And he was most learned one among angels. But he harmed one among whom and he fall down. No value for him now. He harmed Adam alayhi salam. Peace be upon him. No respecting. Whole universe giving respect to Adam. Peace be upon him. Only Shaitan not giving his respect and harming Adam alayhi salam, and he fall down. No value now for him from that time. Who harming a person even by looking or by saying or by his hand, he is on the same level of Satan and losing his one. That is an important point that we must know it and we must practice it also. It is not enough to 
کلو only but most important it is practice don't give trouble to anyone don't harm anyone then you are Muslim you are valuable servant you are beloved one uh, in divine presence Allah Almighty uh, trying his servants no one is going to be without trying everyone examined or should be examined during his life and every day every day you may be examined from our Lord and he is looking to our attributes with his servants who gives harm to others then Allah Almighty leaving him and heavenly beings angels also leaving him if Allah Almighty leaving a person falling on him every uh, suffering and troubles falling on him raining on him he never going to be in peace or happiness in his life and Allah Almighty our Lord asking for us to be in a happy life and peaceful life but we are changing peaceful life in unpeaceful and in a suffering and full of troubles we are doing that if you are listening Adam our grandfather the first man he was advising to his sons and ordering to them to advise to their sons and every prophet repeated it Adam's advises to their nations and his advises also coming reaching to our time also he was advising to his sons oh my sons look and learn from my uh, example everything and every happiness it was for me but I lost it because I uh, left my Lord's pleasure I made him to be angry with me and I lost whole happiness and I take whole sufferings in this life you must take an example from me don't do your Lord angry with you 
If you are making your Lord angry with you, you are losing every happiness and peace and taking every sufferings during your life. Therefore, whole prophets, they are advising to their nations, don't do any action that makes your Lord angry with you. It costs you too much, too expensive. Because Allah Almighty asking for you a peaceful and happiness life. Keep it. But if you are making angry your Lord with you, you are losing everything. Now, in our time, we are not asking our Lord's pleasure or angry. We are saying, I don't mind. He is pleased with me or angry. Because mostly they are, they are not accepting to be in existence a God looking after them. They are denying to be a God and creator in existence. That making Allah Almighty to be angry with them. For every seed, that is the biggest one. They are saying, no God. That is bringing a huge, a very ter terrible, terrible punishment coming on men now. Because they are saying, no God. That carrying a terrible punishment for, for whole nations. Only whom that Allah Almighty sheltering them in, in under his divinely shelter, who entering may be in safety and others going to be punished. Allah Almighty because he sent his last prophet to be mercy for whole nations. When they are refu refusing him then Allah Almighty making people to be in two, two camps and making among themselves uh, enmity so that one side will fight the second one, second one will fight the first one. And from one to others, from others to others, giving his punishment. Now, whole world working only for that point. They are uh, preparing everything for that punishment. Al Allah Almighty should give punishment uh, east from west, and to west from east. No one can escape. No way for people except to go under divinely shelter. But who is saying no God, they are not sheltering. Their Lord is angry with them who may be 
with his Lord pleased and his Lord pleased with him should be sheltered. Therefore, my Grand Sheikh was saying this terrible punishment sooner than coming on earth, approaching. Every is looking. As we are looking when uh, black clouds appearing, you know that rain coming. They are looking that divinely punishment sooner than coming on whole earth, covering. And Quran Sheikh was saying, who should be under divinely shelter, who accepting his Lord, saying that there is in existence a Lord, the Lord of universes, and I accept him, and I am his servant, who saying this must be sheltered. Who says, Oh my Lord, forgive me, and I am your servant. He must be sheltered. And secondly, who never intending more than harming, not harming, and never intending in his heart any bad intention to anyone from people. If anyone keeping a bad intention in his heart to anyone, that bad intention should shoot him as a bullet should shoot him. Who thinking <clears throat> evil and badness for anyone that coming around and shooting him. If he may take a shelter under, under seven underground, that bullet coming around and shooting him. Therefore, who is going to be brave for badness, intending for anyone badness and evil, even that intention should take him away from this life. Because this is going to be greatest, greatest war and the last war mm -hmm. on earth. Taking so, so many people, you, can, you can't imagine. From seven, taking six, leaving one. Divinely anger.